The second exercise using the vertical bench is the leg raise. Again, step up into the vertical bench, grasp the handles, and keep your back and forearms firmly on the pads. Extend your legs, keeping them bent slightly to avoid stressing your lower back. Now, inhaling, curl your hips slowly to rotate your pelvis and bring your legs up as high as you can. Remember, every millimeter you can squeeze out on the way up will pay off for you in stronger abs. Push yourself here, and when you can't lift any higher, hold that position, contract your abs, and slowly lower your legs, then repeat. Once again, avoid swinging your legs up or letting them flop down. Cool, controlled, focused movements. That's the key to maximum efficiency and results. To work your upper abs and obliques, adjust the bench so that your calves are resting on the pads and your ankles are snugly under the foot rollers. Sitting up straight, place your hands lightly behind your head and lower your torso slowly toward the bench and stop at about a 30 degree angle between your back and the bench. Inhaling and holding your breath as you crunch, twist as you come up, bringing your elbow toward the opposite knee. Don't jerk or thrust or sway or swing as you come up. Just nice and easy, nice and steady. Get a good contraction as you twist into the end of the motion. Hold a second, then follow the same twisting arc in reverse, lowering yourself again to about 30 degrees off the bench. Do all your reps for one side of the body, and when you've worked that side, then switch over to the other side, twisting the other way. If you're not able to do very many reps, use less of an angle of decline. Conversely, if you feel you're not getting enough resistance, increase the angle and go for it. Just a cautionary note, and we will make this point a few times in this program. Don't overdo the angle downwards. Keep it 45 degrees or less. There's no great benefit to going past that. We're going to increase the sets up to four for the advanced program. That means we're going to move through four sets of hanging leg raises, 12 to 20 reps, then four sets of cable crunches, 12 to 20 reps, and then we'll finish with four sets of oblique cable crunches, also for 12 to 20 reps. As always, watch our experts for perfect technique. This is a great exercise. I love the hanging leg raise. Jump or step up into a high bar and hang freely, making sure your feet don't touch the floor. Inhale and hold your breath as you bring your legs slightly behind your body, then quickly but smoothly raise them forward and upward as high as you can. Keep your legs straight but not locked as you raise them. At their peak, slightly above parallel to the ground, hold the contraction for one to two seconds as you exhale. Then relax slightly as you return to the hanging starting position. Pause momentarily, then repeat. If this exercise is too hard at first, bend your knees a little bit more as you raise your legs. The key here to really work the abs is to lift high. Because until you hit 30 or 40 degrees here, your hip flexors are doing most of the heavy lifting. So lift your legs as high as possible. The cable crunch is great because it works your abs through a greater range of motion than the traditional crunch. Not only that, it focuses more on the abs while excluding other muscles like the hip flexors. To begin, stand facing a high cable pulley machine and grasp the handles of a rope attachment so that your palms face each other. Take a few steps back and kneel down about three or four feet away from the base of the machine. Your knees should form a slightly less than 90 degree angle. Try not to pop up too fast or sway out of this position through the exercise. Lean forward and slightly arch your lower back. Your torso should be almost parallel to the floor. Bend and hold your arms at a 90 degree angle over your head. Now slowly contract your abs so that they pull your torso toward the floor until your elbows approach your knees. All this motion should originate from here, from the lower vertebra and then move upward. If your hips get involved, you're limiting the effectiveness of the exercise. Same is true if you're pulling with your arms. So focus and contract your abs, which will do all the work of flexing your torso forward, and you'll end up with a rounded back like this, 
at the end of the movement. Right here at the bottom of the movement, concentrate on squeezing your abs. Pause, then slowly return to the starting position and repeat. Remember, move slowly and deliberately and don't let momentum do the work for you. That's the cable crunch. Simple, powerful, thorough. This exercise offers a smooth range of motion as you work your obliques. Facing the machine, kneel down three or four feet in front of a rope handle connected to a high pulley. Turn your body about 45 degrees so you're at an angle to the machine. Then grasp the rope near the top or back of your head. Elbows bent and lock your arms in this position. All right, we're ready to begin. Inhaling, twist away from the machine to the opposite side. 